everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and to my first normal vlog in the new house i suppose so i have got a list as long as my arm of things to do today it's our first day in the house just me and leo clint has gone out to work today and it's just us two and i've got a lot of house admin -y things to do today i want to do lots of unpacking sorting organizing <laughs> and i know you guys just love that so i thought i'd take you along today is also the first day of lockdown lockdown number two so it's kind of a weird feeling in the air at the moment everyone's woken up feeling a bit <sighs> it is just odd like little things like i'm gonna take a load of washing to my mum's because our washing machine and dryer isn't hooked up yet and so I'm going to take a load to my mum's for her to do and it's like oh I can't go inside I'll just drop it at the door and you know it's we got so used to normality it's just a bit but anyway I'm just it's not just me is it it's everyone in the country so I'm not going to moan about it I'm looking like an absolute mum today no glam today today's not a glam day literally a mum outfit it literally says this is a mum outfit <laughs> But guys, the first thing on my list today, the first thing that I'm actually doing is taking Leo for his three year immunizations. And I feel a bit like, um, I feel a bit nervous about it, to be honest with you. I put on Instagram earlier, what, what's it like, what, what to expect? And everyone said it's each arm. So I don't think it's legs, I think it's just each arm. And a good friend of mine um, said that she told her little ones the doctors are giving her superpowers to stop her from getting poorly. And that worked really well, so I've told Leo that. So he's just said, oh, we're going to get my superpowers now. So <laughs> fingers crossed that works. I'm gonna go and do that now, and then I'll get him a big treat for being a good boy afterwards. I said, you can go to shop and have anything you want after you get your superpowers. I'm gonna drop the washing off at my mum's, literally drop it off, it's very depressing. Come back here and carry on with my admin and my unpacking that I will talk to you more about when I get back. But um, yeah, I need to get these jabs out of the way first. Okay, it's done. <sighs> that was, that was heart-wrenching. Oh, I was, I was welling up. He was the super hit, the superpowers thing um, worked a treat and he literally skipped in there, was happy as Larry, was really excited to do it. And the first one he was okay, the second one must have hurt a little bit more because he's starting to cry. So he's just done a little bit of crying and um, didn't want a sticker or anything. He's a bit miserable now. He says he doesn't want to go and get a treat and he doesn't want a sticker. It's literally breaking my heart. Are you okay, my baby? He doesn't really want to talk to me. You want to go home? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to take this enormous pile of washing to my mum's front door. Thanks, mum. And then I'm going to take him home, give him a bit of TLC. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of motivation. We come back home. He's in a right mood from his jabs. He doesn't want to do anything. I'll be honest with you, I don't want to do anything. But I'm looking around and thinking, do you know when there's almost so much to do that you can't bear the thought of? doing anything like it's I don't even know where to start just looking around there's so much organizing so much tidying to do that I just don't even know where to possibly begin I just kind of want to like stand here and eat sweets right I've had a bit of a blip possibly. I went upstairs for like an hour managed to unpack the majority of one of the rooms put loads of clothes away and like just felt really really sick all of a sudden and like a hormone headache came on and just had to stop so i've just had a really really exciting phone call which i won't tell you exactly what it was about but a career related exciting phone call so i've just got off the phone i've made myself a sandwich i've set up some toys for leo and i think i'm gonna sit for half an hour just breathe relax eat and then i'll do take two and try and do a bit more tidy in a way i also would like to pop to the supermarket at some point 
because we're running out of food. And after I eat, I will walk you around because it's just sort of occurred to me while I was upstairs that a few things have changed. And the last time you guys saw the house, it was literally an empty shell, had no furniture in it. So I will walk you guys around after I've eaten and show you all the changes that have been made. Okay, I had a little sit down, had some food, and just spent 90 minutes on the phone sorting change of address admin. It's like those little things you don't think about when you move house, but you have to tell a lot of people that you've moved house. So I've just rang the bank, car insurance, DVLA, and a couple of others that I'm still needing to get in touch with, but I've managed to do most of the big ones, so that's good. And it meant that I had a, I had a bit of time sat down. But I'm gonna get up now and I'm going to prepare for a skip run. So there is just a lot of build up of rubbish going on that I just want to tidy up. And seeing as we need to pop to the supermarket anyway, I thought I'd go via the skip and get rid of this. So while I'm showing you this rubbish, I can actually also show you our um, lounge update, which is that our sofas have arrived. So guys, look how beautiful are these. They're from Loaf and it comes with, we've got the big four seater sofa. We've got the beautiful footstool to go in the middle and we've got the snuggle seat to go with it as well and this velvet is called clever velvet and basically it's just completely washable um they sent us some like fabric testers and i literally rubbed beetroot on it <laughs> spaghetti bolognese like the worst things possible and everything just came off so even though this is going to be quite an adult room it's good to know that the sofas are safe so there is the pile of rubbish <laughs> that I would like to remove. So I think I'm gonna try and pop that in the boot of the car in a second, but I'll just give you a little house update before I do. So kitchen updates. Don't know if there's many for you. We've got our bar stools and our table up. These are beautiful bar stools from Atkinham Time. Those are unfortunately faulty, so they're going back. But these are fine. And then we got the matching dining chairs. This is the beautiful bench. And you can just about see our dining table <laughs> underneath all of this. It is just stunning, but you cannot really see it at the moment because it's just covered in stuff. So the telly, the kitchen telly is currently there because it needs to go up on the wall. He has started to get it ready to go up on the wall, but it's not quite up yet, so it's just taking up the table at the moment. This is the, the famous Ikea shoe cupboard that will be going in the hallway. Uh, Mummy, can yeah. I have a some? Yes, baby, C can you just give me five minutes and then I'll get you some. Unfortunately, it's faulty and this is broken as you can see. So, oh, what have I done now? Good grief. So it's gonna have to go back to Ikea. It is broken, but try not to think about that. Uh, we've put up our Calax, which have got Leo's toys in. The old sofa is here. We are gonna replace this, but it's, it's doing the job for now. There's our beloved clock that's going to go up there, but this is basically just Leo corner at the moment, where Leo just keeps, keeps busy and entertained. This will be Leo's art corner uh, All right. is so this is leo's art corner <laughs> it's going to be leo's arty coloring corner but i haven't tidied that yet that's on my to-do list today here's my beloved trevi's bed trevi isn't here yet he's just it's been so manic and so messy and he is such a nervous creature that we've been worried about bringing him in while it's like this but he'll be coming home soon and there's his bed kitchen I don't think there's really much updates to give you. It's just a mess. Utility is a mess. Oh my God. Don't know if there's any updates upstairs. Oh, well, yeah, there's floor. I mean, we haven't got a floor on the stairs or the landing yet because all of the stairs and the skirtings are being painted dark. So obviously that needs to happen first before we can 
Mm. Carpet. So family bathroom has a floor and is officially usable. <laughs> so that's good. This is your bathroom, isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh my God, my bed is not made. I'm not showing you my bed. But our bedroom is getting there. The telly's up. We don't have a bed yet. I have a bed coming from Arista Living and there's been some issues in the warehouse, so it's not arrived. But we've got a floor in our ensuite. Across the landing. These are like the dumping rooms at the moment where we just have to slowly sort of sort through them. That's like dumping ground. Leo's room is really getting there. Daddy got him a funky little light yesterday. His bed is obviously up, not made. Sorry about that. And his okay. wardrobes, which I open. He's got his new big boy wardrobe. Artwork needs to go up. He still needs curtains. We've been sticking this towel up there every night where he hasn't got any curtains yet, but we are getting there. And my dressing room has um, the herringbone floor. Now this is the floor that we're getting all through the house downstairs. So with the border and the herringbone. So this is what downstairs is going to look like. And we decided to do it in the dressing room as well, just in case I drop makeup or something. <laughs> but yeah, my dressing filming room is really getting there. All the wardrobes are up and the clothes are away and we are, we are getting somewhere even if it feels like we're not. So those are the general sort of house updates for you. I'm just gonna try and put this ridiculous amount of rubbish in the boot of my car, ready to take to the skip. Anyone else just love a skip run? I get a real thrill of having a skip run. Well, mission successful. I have been to the skip, tip, skip, whatever you want to call it. And got rid of all that rubbish as you saw. I've been to Asda and got something for dinner. And posted a letter that I needed to post for Clint. I'm just cooking up some mince and some pasta. I'm just going to do a simple pasta bake. We have lived on either takeaways or microwave meals since moving in. So I want to try and like break the cycle and actually cook something tonight. But Clint should be home in about an hour is what I'm hoping. We can all have dinner together. I hope you enjoyed my first vlog since living in the new house. And the little updates that I gave you every time I vlog, I'll give you more and more updates. I'm hoping it's going to start looking more and more like a house as time goes on and not a building site. Clint's hoping to start the floor next week. So obviously that would just make a huge difference if we have a floor and when this room is taken care of. So hey guys, maybe next time I vlog the house will look really different, I don't know. But thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna get on with dinner now and get it ready for when Clint gets home and I will see you lovely people in my next video.